guys, welcome back to my channel. We're going super cash, kind of like vlog style today. I'm sitting on the floor using natural light from the sun. Why? I just, I, I just, I can't bring myself to bring my equipment out. I just, being lazy. I've got another Peloton video for you today. Um, I'm going to be trying the new Peloton lane break game so that you don't have to. I mean, you can if you want to, obviously, but like, I'm, I'm gonna tell you about, I'm gonna tell you my feelings about it. Um, I remember when this game was like in beta, I'm in a couple like Peloton Facebook groups where like, that's all we talk about is Peloton. Some people in the groups were chosen to be like beta testers. So like, I had heard about it and all that kind of stuff. Um, when I first heard about it, by the way, if you don't know what the lane break is, it's basically like, the best way I can describe it is like Guitar Hero for your peloton. So instead of being like a scenic ride or an instructor led ride, it's a game. You ride to the music, you change lanes by changing resistance, you do cadence efforts. Um, I haven't actually done it yet, so I don't know the full scope of it, but like that that's a that's an overview. Um when I first heard of the lane break game, I was like, okay, like that's cool. Um whatever, like I'm not upset that I wasn't like chosen to be a beta tester or whatever because it just wasn't that interesting to me and then it came out i think it came out last week or earlier this week i can't quite remember and again i was just kind of like okay like cool like i'm not really interested in trying it i don't know like it just it's just like not something that in interested me i don't i don't really have a reason why i guess i'm not like super into video games i guess like that would be the reason why plus like i really just I thrive with the instructor-led classes. Again, I, like I said, I'm in a ton of Peloton groups and everybody has just been talking about it and it, like it's one or the other. Like either people are raving about it or they're like, I tried it, I'm never gonna do it again. Or like I know a lot of people's kids like it. Um, so I figure as, you know, YouTube's resident fat Pelotoner, I should give it a try, do a little review of it, and see how it goes. Yeah, that's it. I mean, I'm, I'm about to hop on and try it out also. I went to go get my hair cut yesterday just to get a trim, and she was like, okay, so I'll take off like, like, like this much, and I was like, you know what, why don't you take off like this much, and just like impulsively chopped four inches off of my hair and trimmed my bangs again. Every time I go to grow my bangs out, I just fucking give up but anyway all of that is neither here nor there i'm going to get my shoes on clip in and let's try out this lane break thing guys okay so here we are i'm clipped in um i'm gonna show you how to find the game on your bike i'm not sure if you can do it as an app user i i honestly i don't know i couldn't find it on my app to be honest i didn't look very hard um if you're an app user let me know but if you are a bike user like me, more rides, Peloton lane break. Oh, hey, there's me. I wasn't expecting to be on camera with my floofy little bangs, but there I are. Anyway, so here comes this little game. This is my first time logging into it, like I said. <laughs> what is this? What, 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 what? Okay, cool. <laughs> Next, I'm going to skip because I just like to figure things out by myself. I'm not a tutorial direction user. Um, let's see. I'll go with, you know what, because I'm going to do a ride after this. I'm going to go with low impact dance pop. And play. We'll go beginner, obviously. And let's see how this goes. Probably should have figured out how to play this first. lanes here at some point 
Like, do I do that myself or is it going to tell me to do it? Okay, so I moved my resistance and it moved the lanes, but now it wants me to go back. Okay, so I guess I can move over now. Okay, and just like that, we're done. Um, okay, um, mm, so I'm gonna be fair here. I, one, I think I picked, like, the, the, the playlist that I picked, um, I picked, like, just a low impact because I do plan on doing an act like an instructor led ride when I'm done here so I didn't want to like overdo any like I wasn't going in looking for like a you know anything crazy I also feel like I maybe went in with like a little bit of a bad attitude not a bad attitude I just like I don't know I'm not a game person so like I, I wasn't fully convinced that I was going to enjoy it and I really didn't it was boring to me um so the whole object, I mean, I skipped the tutorial because I don't like tutorials, but the whole object is like you, there's different lanes, the lanes are resistance, and then it gives you like a cadence range and you get points by being in the cadence range, hitting certain checkpoints, being in the correct, I'm sorry, I have my door open, uh, there's nothing I can do about the motorcycles outside being in the correct cadence range being in the correct resistance you get points there's like challenges like you go fast enough to fill up a triangle in a certain amount of time um it just it just didn't do it for me honestly i can see how like you could get a good workout out of it like i'm sure like like this one was low impact so like the cadence range that i was in was like 75 to 95 which is pretty moderate and i was for the majority of it under 30 resistance so i'm sure there's other ones that are harder i mean i also like i know i picked a beginner one um there's different levels you could definitely make a good workout out of it it's just not for me i really like thrive on the instructors and the music that they pick and just kind of like knowing that there's someone on the other side of the camera kind of going through it with me but i know that that's not for everybody and i think that it's a nice addition for peloton um, because i know that they know that something that keeps people away is the instructors like people think they talk too much or some people just don't like being yelled at while they work out they just like to do their own thing so i think like good on peloton for adding something like this it's a different way to be competitive i suppose like if you're leaderboard driven it's a good way to kind of be in competition with yourself definitely a good variety of music choices definitely a good variety of like beginner intermediate advanced levels i keep saying um because i'm really trying to be like nice about this because i know that this is like like it definitely will work for a lot of people like if this is the kind of person that you are then it's going to be a good workout for you like i'm not trying to shit on it um it's just not for me i just it just it didn't do it for me i was bored um i made it like seven minutes through a 15 minute thing and i just felt like there are so many other ways I could be spending my time, but that's it's just me. It just, I wasn't, it's not that I wasn't impressed because I, I, 
again, I do think it's an awesome option that they added, and I do think that it will be a good thing for a lot of, and it is, it already has been a good thing for a lot of people. I just, I don't think I'm going to be doing it again. Um, if you have kids, I know that, you know, you shouldn't have children on exercise machines, but like maybe you have like teenagers or like very well supervised kids and you want to get them moving a little bit, like especially like in the winter, I know it's really cold out, they can't be outside riding their bikes and things. I definitely think that that's a really good use for it. And again, like if, if you're like a gaming kind of person, if you like self-competition, if you don't like the instructors or you just need a break from you know, all of their positivity, because <laughs> they do, they, you know, sometimes, some days, it can feel like toxic positivity when you're just trying to get through, and they're like, you're so great, you can do it, you have the power, and you're like, shut the fuck up, I'm dying. It would be good for things like that. Um, I'm glad I tried it. If I didn't have this little channel, and people wanting to, you know, get Peloton information from me, I probably wouldn't have tried it. Um, but I don't think I'll be doing it again. Although, you know what, if you, if you have done this and you like the Peloton lane break, I mean, convince me, like, tell me which ones are the best ones. Like, tell me which ones really, like, got you sweating. And I mean, I, I didn't break sweat, so, I mean, I, again, it was low impact and beginner, so that's on me. I know, that's on me. I definitely could have picked something harder. My Peloton people, let me know in the comments down below, like, are you a fan of this lane break thing? Are you, like, are you like me and you're kind of like, yeah, I'd rather just, you know, ride with Cody or Kendall or Robin or whoever. Are you guys, like, what, what Peloton version of workout does it for you? Are you like me? Like, do you thrive on in instructor? instructor i i have tried to say this word so many times i can't say it. instructor led workouts or do you like to just you know just hop on a ride and while you like watch netflix like just putting on a just ride do you like the scenic rides or are you really into this lane break game and if you are please convince me convince me that it's cool give me all the best ones because i'm willing to give it another shot for for I can't talk today. It's the pre-workout. When I take pre-workout, I just can't talk anymore. If you're really into the lane break thing, give me your recommendations. Convince me. I'm definitely willing to give it another shot. Um, but as of right now, it's just, eh, it's a no for me, dog. But I get it, and I think it's a really great addition to the Peloton content, um, especially with everything going on right now. And with the company and like the CEO changes and everything. I think it was a good move. But yeah, that's it for today's video. I'm I'm glad I gave it a try. Uh, I'm gonna go do, I was about to say a real workout, but that's not, that's not fair. I'm, I'm about to go do, I think a 45 minute hip hop ride with Alex and get my sweat on. And next week is gonna be another Peloton video because I'm gonna be sharing with you guys my 200th ride that I took last week. So it's just, it's Peloton mania over here at uh, Emily Shack on YouTube. I hope you guys love it as much as I do. It's been really fun. That's it, that's all I have to say. I will see you guys very soon in my next video. Bye.